It's June 3rd. Temperatures about uh, 55 or so. Last couple of days have been 70 and uh, had a little bit of rain. I've done a couple of waterings. That's the herb garden. A lot of sage and chive is blooming. Raised beds. Peppers, they're starting to grow a little bit. We did have some uh, sunny, warm days, so it needs to have uh, a little bit higher temperatures for them to get going. And then I planted the summer squash, one zucchini and one uh, crookneck yellow squash in the soil bags. Those have been in about, uh, I think, a week. A little yellow but those bags had a lot of extra water in them. Normally, with the, when the summer temperatures pick up, those things grow without any issues. And since we've got some sun, I think I have radishes and beets that are have recovered. The slugs were eating them because they sat for a while. So I'll, I'll go ahead and leave those in. I was going to pull them out and replace them. None of the carrots came up, so I'll have to replant those. And then this square with the mulch has more beets, carrots, and I think I planted maybe lettuce. I forget, and I'll see when it comes up. It's a screen I was using. That well, Those bags of soil have quite a bit of rock and uh, bark in them. So I can screen out the regular soil. I don't know what I'll do with that. Use it for mulch someplace. Cut celery. And then the uh, tomatoes. I think they're doing a little bit better in the pots. Growing a little faster than they would have in the soil in the regular temperatures. Just gave them a watering today. And i got to give the hops... A huge haircut. They're growing all over. Some have even reached over into the maple tree. And grapes are doing well. They've already reached to the top. I'll we'll get some pulled down, so maybe have some bunches of grapes coming through the rafters of the arbor. I broke open the one hay bale and put that out for mulch. This raised bed. I've got the dill coming up. I should have planted that in a pot sitting on there because it tends to get a lot of aphids. And then if it got aphids, I could just move the pot out of there. But I'll let it go see what it does. Those are two volunteer cucumbers coming up. I started, I think, last week some more cucumbers in uh, peat pots. So I may replace them, but they seem to be doing good. I might just leave them in there. And I mulched the whole pumpkin patch area and got the seeds planted. I think they've been in two weeks um, up front. That's a cargo. And then the first row has two fall splendors. And the one at the right end is a moonshine. That's a white pumpkin. And then the second row of hog panels two to the left are the autumn cheese and the one on the right is moonshine so I've got two autumn cheese two moonshine and two false splendors there's four bags over here this one is the rouge vif de temps and then I've got three cargos planted the two in that picture get a little less sun this time of year than the rest of the garden. But I planted three seeds per bag and I got germination on all of them. So that's, that's a pretty good deal. And then the hay bales. Let's see. This bale is... The uh, winter squash, 
one of them sunshine the others that winter gray squash this one I don't I'm missing a two seeds coming up I think that that may be one that got eaten but I don't yeah it got eaten and this one only had one seed come up I only planted two we'll see how they do and these are the individual serving the, uh, butternut squash planted two seeds in each of the each of the sections and this one here had a big slug on it the other day. Its leaf development wasn't good. It didn't cast the uh, the uh, seed husk very well. So I went ahead and pulled it. Should have probably planted three seeds in each, but if I get more sunshine, it should be able to outgrow any slug activity. And so far, everything's been healthy. I haven't done any extra feeding. I may... Uh, Put down like a 4-10-10 in about a week. And then I'll have to decide which ones of these to pop off. So those are all coming in good. And if it keeps going the way, I'll probably take that one out first. And then a week later, take that one if, this, if everything keeps up. That's a pretty big one there. And then some choices are more obvious, obviously. The one that's didn't uh, cast the seed husk you can see how it got deformed so it may have some issues so I'll probably pull that one out but that's about it like I said it got good germination rate so all I need to do now is hope for some sunny weather to get some growth and then uh, decide which ones to keep so I'll probably post more in a couple of weeks.